Okay, we're going to do a little song Buddy Holly wrote called Not Beat Away.
the dreams I face. Studios. Today we're joined by Mike Tafoya and the band Tafoya. What's going on, guys? Hey, 
Hey guys, hey Josh, good to see you again. That's good Josh, okay? <laughs> Promotion. I got got CC over here, Craig Cedar Home on drums and bass. Drums and vocals. God, I'm I, I'm way out of it. I got bass here, I got Leslie. Sorry about hitting your boobie. She's she's in the band too with me, and I'm just very blessed to have them, even though I'm screwing up here. Oh, well, we're really glad to have you guys back down here, back down in Knoxville, and we're gonna be recording a new single with you. Uh, tell me about the song. Boogie with me. That song I wrote a while back, but it's like um, how we did that uh, Baby Please Don't Go. It's that yeah. same groove, you know, it's a boogie. Boogie, start your motor and come on down. We do, and it's really just drag. I mean, it just, just drags everybody through the mud that with us. driving rock and roll, yeah. Yeah, it's just what it is, and, uh, and it works. I mean, we played it last week, but, you know, it's like our first time live. We did it, and he goes, man, uh, the audience went, Oh, they were raving. Oh, like, yeah. It's fun. It's, 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 it's really nice when people really respond to the band. And that's oh, what yeah. I've noticed with this group especially. i got these guys with me. I can do my thing without having to overly... I'm not, I'm not 20 years old. I don't jump and spin anymore, you know, and all that <laughs> stuff. But I, mean, but I do it with my guitar. We're trying to do it. And I'm trying to do songs that are a little more, a little more meat, like you heard the yeah. stuff we did. You know, that have parts without being Genesis or Yes, but having that same... I uh, you say... Um, just that floating between parts and keeping in time, and he's yeah. Mr. Meter over here. Just you know, but it's all strong. super in the pocket, Mr. Sawmill. Woo! Yeah, and absolutely. That's like all I, I can do. <laughs> and she, she plays. She holds that down right, and I'm like, like I said last time, I'm like, it's my magic carpet. I get up there and just ride these guys, and I can shoot arrows. I can. Throw, you know, <laughs> throw those bolts. lightning bolts. Yeah, like, <laughs> or, or I can just play sweet, you know, nice stuff. You know. Yeah. Uh, you know, I play Cupid. <laughs> so you guys stay real busy up there in the Chicagoland area, playing all uh, all over. Uh. Well, you know, besides the the pandemic thing, but we actually got to work a lot. Yeah. And uh, I mean, Craig and I just jumped on it and just come on. We didn't ask for favors. We just said, come on, we we can do this. We're good. And we we also did those. His wife did Angela. Hi, Angela. <laughs> Gambino, she did the, you know, filmed us, but we did all these, you know, um, Facebook Live things. Yeah, you know, yeah. In his, up in our, our Casa de Rock and Roll, I call Casa it. Casa de Rock and Roll. But I mean, but he has all, what do you call those? Um, those Neons? Neons. I mean, he has all these things. He's got beer signs, he's got Cubs and all, everything else. He's got uh, just different companies and things, you know, and guitar yeah. comp amps and stuff like that. And so it looked cool in there. And we were doing that, and people were like going, oh, I want to see this. I want to see this. And... We started playing these shows, and there's no money. You know, nobody's going out. <laughs> yeah. and, 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 you know, and it's like, it we're, was weird. we're playing from 3 to 5 or something. and you know, At In the afternoon, played, yeah. Yeah, well, everybody's like... Well, Every, all the bars close at 6, so yeah, you got to play from well, 3 to 5. You know, nobody, <laughs> and, and, yeah, and it's like they wanted to hear it, and, and they're going, oh, we got to go inside. I go, you're not going to... There's not that many people. Like I said last time, people have big ears because they were there to listen to the music, mm -hmm. be part of it, and... Let us take them for a ride. Right. Because then we had a couple people. Can you play some Journey? Like, well, yeah, we can, but we're not going to. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> I said that last time. I go, because he can sing all that. But it's like, let me take you for a ride. Yeah. I was doing it back then, and what we're doing is from the same place they came from. It's music that starts somewhere, ends here, but in the middle we... It's like telling a good story. Music's supposed to be an experience. I mean, you don't see people take the time to craft an album the same way where you put it on and it's hard to turn it off because you feel like you've... It's like putting a good book down or something. It's halfway through the right. story. And you don't see a lot of, like, attention to an album like that. Well, you heard our or even a live set, you know? You heard our originals. It's not like reading the first chapter 20 times. No. Yeah. Each song has its own thing and it has its beginning body inclusion yeah. and stuff. And our parts have that, you know, it's conjugating everything. They tell a story. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you guys have a really, you, I mean, it's it's got that, you know, classic rock sound, but you've got so much blues and funk and all, jazz even integrated in there. You can just tell that you guys are from that Mississippi Delta area. Chicago American. has, American. yeah, I mean, it's heartland rock and roll, man. We call it new classic You rock. pull from all these areas and all right. these sounds, and it just blends it really well. Yep. And like, so that's just an organic thing. Like, when you are you the main songwriter, or when you guys write, is it kind of a collaborative thing? It's mine. What it is, these are my songs. But uh, like I said even before, but I mean, I tell them what they I need. They make it their own. They embrace it, making their own. Right. They within the context of what I'm trying to do, and I don't 
luckily I've been playing so long, I'm so freaking old, whatever. But I do it and I, it's not all the same thing, but it also makes sense and they can understand it. I'm yeah. really blessed to get these guys that, you know, they listen, they know, they're, you know, they're pragmatic, you know, they're not going, well, I gotta be, I gotta be front man. We were playing <laughs> drums back there, you know, or something, you know, whatever, and trying to do that and, and fit in and, well, what do you think? Well, that, that goes with the, you know, when it's his time to play a solo, I'm not going to be overplaying. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just, let, it's, it's his moment, his song, his solo, you play, I'm just going to do what I'm supposed to do. Then there's the break, you know, I'll, I'll spin out of that, I'll go do something a little, little of this, a little of that, and then we move on with the song. So there's parts to the song. When it's his time, it's his time. When it's my time, same with her, you know. And then the song just comes together. So nobody's really overplaying or trying to be, yeah, I up mean, front. And there's a difference between throwing in a nice little accent or turnaround right. and then stepping on somebody's yeah. Yeah, right. shot. Yes. Yeah. Well, like they understand that I, I can, I have that thing. I can see the whole song, whether mm -hmm. it's like you said before, it's a three minute or ten minute song. I can do that, but they trust me on that, and I trust them to do their thing. That's like having three type A's, but I know that they're, I don't have to worry about every single... Well, it's a band leader mentality. Yeah. You know, I mean, then you don't see a lot of that anymore, where it's just like, literally, I, I know where the song is going to go in. If I'm going to take a little bit longer on the solo, I'm going to look at you and be like, you know, one more. Just right give, on. give, yeah. give me a little breath on this, and then when we're ready to go, I'll give you a nod, we'll cue, right That's back it. in. Uh, are you a player? You play music? Yeah. I oh, because you're talking yeah. like you're... Uh, I, I've, I've dabbled. Every, I've dabbled. You a made every bit, mistake yeah. and had every you know good thing happen. So. <laughs> well, not every mistake yet. Uh, oh, we'll me. see. He did. You just don't know. Yeah, nobody, nobody told me. <laughs> they happen all on their own. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they don't even have to so I, I, I would tell people, I go, experience comes from faux pas. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you have a book or somebody telling you everything, that's, so you don't ever make a mistake, you're you're screwed. Yeah, because I mean, you're going to anyway. Yeah. You just got to get through it, fly through it, and then process it and go further. Right. Absolutely. Well, we took a few mistakes, and, you know, over our time together, we take a mistake and just reapply. Oh, that was good. I do that again. Yeah, it's I like, like that. it's that whole idea of, like, failing upwards sometimes. Right. You make a mistake right. and exactly. just, like, hey, we're all... like that. Yeah. That's exactly it. Right. It was a perfect place to stop. Let's keep doing it. It was right at it. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, you can't recreate that kind of vibe, too. Sometimes a mistake in the moment. You just well, that's part of being a leader is going, or, or the composer type of guy, you're going, oh. And being open to that. Yeah. Being open to that, well, that's not how I thought that mistake works. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Being yeah. open to that is, like, right. very crucial. But after you play it 900 times... <laughs> you know, yeah. if it's, if that's not the way it's supposed, and then you change it. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, you can do it nine hundred times, and then you hear that. Oh, that's a real screw. Man, no, that's not a screw up. I mean, that actually, screw. that actually adds some context or some it contour does. or some depth. Let to it breathe. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Well, that's what we've been talking about too. Is like now we're right. We're not just gonna. We're gonna try to make it more arena friendly. Or, you know, even in a small club. You know, I mean, we're gonna be. Doing a concert it's for the cheap can, seats in the back too, yeah. Well, right. we were, even though no, the cheap seats are up front because they're all coming <laughs> to see us, you know what I mean. But we're like, going, we need to stretch things out, right? Not to, not to, not because we don't have enough material. We have wasted so much material, but we're not trying to just play them and get to it and start. You know, we're you know we're like going, oh wait, wait, let's just. Let it breathe. Yeah, I mean, it's what is it they say? Is it it's, sometimes it's the notes you don't play. We yeah. talked about that too. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. exactly. Exactly right. Yeah. So, uh, got this new single we're working on, hoping to get that out sometime before the end of the year. We're going to be hopefully shooting a music video up with you in the Windy City as well. Uh, what other big plans you guys got? We're going to be getting you on the road. Got you coming out to uh, the pier at Garden City in Myrtle Beach. I'm just excited about doing this video in Chicago. I mean, I grew up in Chicago. I never thought about doing one. I go, oh, we gotta do the bean. Yeah. Everybody does the bean. Yeah. I went, oh, I get to go be a, a, tu a tourist. <laughs> I'm a tourist. Yeah, I gotta go to Grant Park, man. Absolutely. Well, I lived on the street from there for a while. But yeah, it's like, oh. I first saw it, I'm like going, oh, it's pretty cool, big, but. And people are going, oh. and they're taking pictures, and I'm like going, 
No, I'm doing it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a tourist. Hey, man, it's a thing to be. Absolutely. You see a lot of Chicago artists, you know, you got to put uh, the skyline. Oh, yeah. You got to put that skyline. I love you Chicago shoot. skyline. Depending on which team you're for, it's got to be uh, either White Sox or uh, okay. Cubs. So you got you to throw your uh, your brand loyalty in there as well. Well, I'm a Chicago loyalist. I mean, I'm a Sox fan. He's a big Cub fan. Oh, see, so we'll but have to have a... No, no, but I mean, <laughs> if they were playing each other, then I'm going to be for one. But, you know, I mean, I like to... Players and that, like, and uh, but it's a Chicago fan. Yeah, you know, I love the Blackhawks. I love the Bulls, especially when they were like rock stars. They were Rolling Stones. It's oh, funny yeah. talking about the skyline. Our regular work is creating the skyline. Oh yeah, that's yeah. what he does. <laughs> oh, what? So you, you, we're a construction company. Oh yeah, so you develop you develop that skyline. Well, We've been a part of it. Granddad, my dad, my brother, me <laughs> built that skyline. I nice. love it. That's awesome. A lot of involvement. <laughs> yeah, they're in it. That's pretty cool. You're yeah. in PP. No. Yeah, oh. I think Chicago's like, it's the unsung big city, it seems like. You know, everybody wants to talk about New York and L.A., but something about the heartland. Like, it just, Chicago, yeah, it's they about, call it it's, the flyover states, and it's just like, Chicago's really where a lot of this springs out from. I mean, right on. That's exactly, exactly. No. I mean, it's super exactly. Oh, I like this town, too. I mean, I was like, well... We're, uh, East Tennessee has its own feel. It's got its it's got its uh, roots Americana blues, you know, yeah. bluegrass kind of vibe. Well, I worked for Gibson Guitar, so I was in Nashville. I was, yeah. I was, I was, I was corporate for Nashville. It's not quite the melting pot that Chicago is. Yeah, but it's not right. Na- it's not Nash Vegas either. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. You know, and, uh, and uh, Memphis, Memphis, well, I believe Memphis too. Yeah, but I mean, you know, this is like. Uh, it's, I like it here. It's, it's nice. a little bit laid back, you know. We, we take our time with things around here. People mm. speak a little slower. But it's a OK. <laughs> so uh, before we wrap up, uh, I wanted to ask you this question last time, and I just completely forgot about it, and it's because you're Chicago natives. And uh, which one is more overrated, or which is the best, Chicago deep dish pizza or a Chicago dog? Oh, oh, there's no question the king is the pizza. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the dogs are good, but it's just, it's a dog. It's a Polish hot dog, you know. With a salad on top. Well, I mean, it's essentially, <laughs> it's not quite a Polish, it's, but it's. I know, but it's essentially, it's like that. But yeah. I mean, and I, I love it because these guys go, you don't put most, you don't put ketchup on a hot dog. I go, I grew up there. Yeah, I'll put whatever I, I want on a hot dog. That's the way I see it. <laughs> I know, but I, I'm like, I, I get it. I know, but I mean, it's like. Well, truthfully, truth be told, I haven't had a hot dog in probably 15 years. Hey, well, that's the thing. It's like I, I was, uh, I was uh, a gas station hot dog whore for a while. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know why. It was my, my crutch. I, uh-huh. you, know, you know, after going to a bar, I'd stop by and get one of those disgusting hot dogs. Hey, I did reason, that with White Castle. But then one of my buddies made me a Chicago dog on a poppy seed bun with yeah. the tomato, peppers, right. salt, and celery, salt, and you everything. Need that, that. I was like, what? The hell is this? He's like, that take a bite. It looks all like it's on LSD. That gr- yeah, that, that green, LSD like looking. psychedelic green relish. Yeah, and it it changed my my world. And I was just like, oh, I've been eating hot dogs wrong this whole time. Well, yeah. when you come up, <laughs> we'll get you a real deep dish pizza. Yeah, the real stuff, and yeah. you'll understand immediately. Yeah, <laughs> there's right. a place also down in the Loop, Paisano's. They have a thin, but it's it's like it, it's really good too because the sauce is what makes it happen. But it, <laughs> but it's the um, it's a flour, but it has the uh, corn in it too. Oh, cornmeal. So it's like, but it has. It's just, but that's not a deep dish. But that's what the original. Yeah, ones. you'll have to like take me to there. some of your favorite places while we're up there for oh, sure. Yeah. We'll you do know. it. We'll, yeah, absolutely. We're gonna have a good time out there. Awesome. And, and uh, that we boogie with me. Yeah, boogie with me. And that's the new single. And we're gonna be getting that out sometime before the end of the year. And uh, you can find them on tofoyamusic.com. And uh, what, what's other good ways to reach out to you? Facebook well, on as Facebook, well. I mean, Tafoya. Michael A. Tafoya or M. A. Tafoya, and then you got Craig Cedarholm, and then you can look up. Uh, what do you? What's your name? No, you go on to Facebook. What is your name on there? Lester Ocus, bassist. Lester Ocus. 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 But it looks more like Ocus. I don't use my name on social media. I don't blame you. Yeah, <laughs> That's probably. It's not a good idea for all Use those women. pseudonyms for social media, absolutely. Yeah. You, it, but if you go onto social media and if you go hashtag Tafoya in the search mm-hmm. there and you hit enter, everything comes up. Awesome. Hashtag Tafoya. Go look them up. And they got new music on the way. There's Reverb Nation. Reverb Nation. 
And you've got some, uh, you've got a couple of tracks out there on Spotify and other places as well. And of course, you got material with the boys and the bees out there. People mm -hmm. can look at as well. Boys and all that yeah, too. so you've got all kinds of material from this man, this band to look up and get behind. Uh, well, this, is the band, the this, this, guys, this is the band. This, these guys. These guys. I'm, this looking, at, I'm is, looking at our gear over here. But <laughs> these guys, they're, they, anything that I want to do, they, they realize it. They make it happen for me. I mean, you, I've been doing this for many, many decades. You've got a career under your belt. Yeah. And, I, you know, I'm finally in a situation where I can, you know, I mean, I'm, I, I was thinking, oh, God, these, these new songs you heard, I'm like, they're, like, really convoluted, seemingly. How am I going to make it so it doesn't seem convoluted? And I go, oh. It took a while, you know, because trying to get it all together, but I mean, it wasn't, and when it came out, it's still, it's us. Right. Thank you, guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, are, you seem like a, just a power trio, for sure. It was like, you guys seem like you get along real well. I mean, that's that, that's irreplaceable with a band. You know? Well, yeah, I, you I, got that kind I, of I can't afford hand. to pay them, so I mean, they have to be there because they want <laughs> They got to be down. <laughs> the camaraderie is uh, key. It's yeah, real. absolutely. It's absolutely real. So check them out. Tafoya Music, hashtag Tafoya Online. You can find everything from them. And uh, stay for tuned for that new single coming. Boogie With Me, dropping sometime later this year. Uh, and don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below. That way you don't miss another promotion live session.